amount of energy it takes to compress that spring is what we call the spring constant in science. Okay? And so um, if all things were equal, if force one equal the mass of the slide and the spring constant, then we'd have an equal sign there. But we don't have an equal sign. We have a greater than sign, right? Um, which basically means that if we built a spring that was so stiff that it could equal, equal those forces out, you probably couldn't pull it very easily with your hand. Or if we built a slide that was so heavy that it equaled those forces out, it probably wouldn't be a very comfortable gun to shoot because it would be a very heavy gun, right? Okay, so because we want a gun that's carryable and, manip and can be manipulated, those two things don't equal force one, okay? So that basically means that there's still excess energy, right? Does, does that make sense? So let me see if I can go back a couple slides here. Okay, if you look at, if you look at the slide in this photo, right? The slide is to the rear and there's some upward tilt to the gun. Um, so that's basically what we call felt recoil, right? So that's, you know, force two minus the mass of the slide and the spring constant together. What's left over is what we call felt recoil. And what happens is um, uh, felt recoil, uh, you know, the, it acts as a lever against your hand. Does that make sense? Um, so, um, you know, it... So, you know, once, once that slide's traveling rearward and hits its most rearward apex, right, and there's still energy in it, that energy, because it's held in your hand, starts tipping your hand up, right? And the taller the gun is, or the lower your grip is, the longer the lever is. And the longer the lever is, the greater the leverage against your grip, okay? Does that make sense? Um, so, um, you'll have, uh, you'll have, you have a greater amount of felt recoil, the, the greater the space between uh, the slide and your hand is, okay? Um, the gun also will always recoil towards the path of least resistance, right? So if you're, if let's say you're shooting one-handed, right, and even all things being equal, um, the, the slide is relatively low in your hand. Once it hits that rearward apex, not only is it going to recoil upward, but because it, the gun's not supported on this side, it's going to recoil towards the inside. Toward up. So for a right-handed shooter shooting one hand, it'll recoil up and towards the left. Does that make sense? Okay. So as long as you understand that, we don't have to get much deeper than that, but as long as you understand that, we can start talking about the technique of managing that force. Because what we're